So just to give you an idea of the extent of this scam, the skull scam, I'm just taking some of these and putting them back to on my desk. So I don't expect you to be able to read read this. This is a six hundred dollar transfer to a Richard Men's to Ghana one four fifty. Can't tell who this was to. <coughs> Nine fifty to no name Ghana or oh, Richard Menz. I don't know if you can see that. Richard Menz. I'm not gonna go through each one of them, but this is a six hundred dollar one. This was in Richard Men's too. He's on a roll. I'm just looking for the date. Date's got to be in front of me. I got transactions num transaction numbers and everything. All right, not important. Four hundred. Some other name. I don't know if this video is clear. It's not clear on my screen, but. So you get the idea. Now I've got hundreds of these. Let's uh, adjust the mic. I mean, uh, so you can get an idea. They're spilling all over the place, so. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 1920 CVS Rite Aid 21, 22, 23, 24. This has a chase. Interesting that this must be the chase withdrawal. Well, so this was probably the or withdrawal 2015. Six hundred and something thousand in the account. That account went to zero. Actually went to negative. This is these are some more. These are more one, two, three, four. I think I can't double counted that. Five six seven money gram. Money gram. Can you see this? Money gram, right? Western Union. Richard Menz again. I'd like to meet this chap. Okay. 2030. I don't know what number I was on. But this is, these are just the loose ones. That's a chase withdrawal. So let's really dig in now. Here's another three. So now these are multiple. This is CVS Pharmacy. Okay. 
MoneyGram, Chase and Money. They're stapled together. Chase and Western Union. So he was going to Chase and getting the money. And then I've seen this name before. And then sending via MoneyGram or, or Western Union. And that was after things were, I mean, this was the down, this is the on the down hit, like there were direct um, wire transfers from, oh, look, how wonderful. I'm not going to open this. These are, let's say another 20. Actually, these are long papers, so I'll say 10. I'll just be nice. You can't see what I'm saying. Let me get this thing straight. There you go. Here's another one. Okay, this is just, just getting me started. These are just the loose ones, right? So far, this is what it looks like, right? Uh, here's another one. And this another one. I don't really want to be doing this, but now this is a chase withdrawal. Let's look. This is 2016, and the account is 3,500 now. And I don't know if it's the same account or not, but that's 2016 is probably getting close to when my dad just gave us this shocking news that the that he was about out of money like you know oh yeah i had a couple million but it kind of you know it's kind of gone it's kind of rebuilding africa right now like it's creating kings in africa again this is some love. This is some, these are more. My father staples everything, so this is a really weird. These are all Western Unions and MoneyGrams, all stapled together. Now remember, this is the this is the small bag. This is one of probably three bags. I took this bag unbeknownst. Ooh, there's a dollar. The Africans left a dollar. Wow. Thank, oh, more than one. Thank you. Thanks for leaving a couple dollars behind, guys. Now, I'm saying that These are MoneyGram, Western Unions. Remember, these are just the loose, the loose ones. There's a few that got loose. Let's see what we have here. Oh, beautiful. Western Union. This tracking number. You know what, guys? Take a look at this tracking number if you could see it. And do some re... It's hard to see. Why is this... This is a good camera. Okay, maybe it'll show up better when I send the video. Here's pharmacy, like, I don't know. That might have been their charge, $2. Now, all I'm saying is, at some point they cut him off from MoneyGram and Western Union. It seems like right after they got caught, Okay, but ironically, he wasn't the first to be notified of the class action suit. Just seems um maybe these would have made him them go bank bankrupt. Not really sure. I just don't think it's fair that 
just because it was settled that if there was no effort to get in touch with him, I'm not saying there was or there wasn't, just doesn't seem right. Western Union, there's a tracking number. You guys can help me out. I got, I have hundreds, so. Uh, empty. What's that bag? All right. So, these are just Rite Aid receipts, probably for the transaction. So, that was the, those are just some. Okay. So, now, now we get to the good part. All right. Seems like the older ones are more organized, and then he just got out of expletive control. His receipt in here it looks like a that's a Chase receipt. Let's let's see what's going on in the Chase account at this point. I don't know if you can see this. The accounts are closed, so doesn't really matter. 2015, 650,000. The ironic thing is he owed me money out of this account and he told me he wasn't gonna touch the account until he did something. And it looks like he was more than touching the account immediately. Here's another one. Here's a bunch of Western Union. It's only Western Union and MoneyGram. However, there were some direct wires. Western Union, MoneyGram. Western Union, MoneyGrams in here. How neat this is to put in an envelope. Western Union, MoneyGrams, Chase Receipts. So what it looks like is a liquidation of an account, a Chase account, and Chase is seeing the liquidation. Now, I'm not saying they're responsible necessarily, but I know the banker told me he knew my father was involved in a scam when he called when the account was negative. So I don't know why he couldn't alert the signatory on the account when the account was dwindling down. Now, my father's banker happens to be from Africa. I'm not just a coincidence. The scam is a Nigerian gold scam. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, I would hate to be defending My, if I was a Chase attorney, if this came up, it'd be hard to defend that. Wait, you were his banker, and you let every dime go out of his account, and you didn't say anything to anyone, and then you, but and but you told my a relative of mine who was the only signatory on the account that you knew he was involved in a scam when all the money was gone. I just find that to be probably a little hard to defend. I think, oh, I don't have it upside down. I thought I had the camera upside down. It would be hard to really defend, like you would need an amazing defense team to come up with a bunch of smoke screen to really say you have no, you had no. Now, we're when, when we get to the wires that were made directly from Chase, to um i'm hoping to right to overseas um sounds to me like you would need someone to to approve those wires and if that someone happened to be the same african guy that worked at the bank, I mean, 
my father doesn't brag that he had money. So I don't know how someone would find him. Maybe someone from the inside. Look, I I don't know what happened. I just know that there was a lot of money and then there was none. And this is clearly, I'm not going to not take some of the blame. Um, my father was always very tight with money, but I'm seeing that he's not, I, I thought he was tight with the money, but evidently he's, he's not. But for the banking system or any system between MoneyGram, Chase, Western Union, and all the others, PayPal, whatever it is, like, this could have funded, hmm, I'm not going to, you guys know what I'm thinking. Like, this should have been stopped, in my opinion, like. Like he was stopped, but it would seem to be right around the class action suit. He was stopped, but he wasn't told, please, you know, report to the class action suit immediately. He was told just he was just cut off one day. He went and he couldn't send anymore. And then he got some of my friends involved who didn't tell me what was going on. This was at the end like the last two years. So I'm just saying that this is the smallest, the smallest bag. This is the one I didn't think he would notice that I took. He now knows I have it. And he, he now knows that he's looking for the wire information. Um, Cause he, before he was doing this, He was just wiring straight, just whatever, chunks of money straight, right in front of, probably assisted by his trusty banker. And um, look, people have to make their living, but um, my inheritance is here and in two other b- bags that are twice this size. This is this is the least amount. So let's say we counted a hundred, a hundred MoneyGram and Western Union receipts in here. I'm just guessing. There's two hundred more at minimum. It's two hundred more. And I don't know the sizes. I remember seeing one for fourteen thousand. I didn't even think you could send fourteen thousand over Western Union or MoneyGram. But just wanted you to see uh, what I'm seeing firsthand. So um, I feel like. I've heard of people losing 50,000, 100,000 right here. I'm guessing it's probably about maybe 150 to 200,000 in my lap. Just guessing. I didn't open them all up. And there are two other bags. So let's just round this off. Let me be conservative. 200,000, maybe more in this bag. Let's say we just said 200,000, which I don't know. I have to go 300. I think I'm sitting on 300,000 minimum. And and this is a small bag. The other bag is double the size. So that's another 600,000. And there's a third bag that's almost double. So that's six, six, and three, right? 12 and three, that's 15, that's 
Uh, one point five, one point five million, right? I get my math right. So, one point five million going through Cha MoneyGram out of Chase to MoneyGram, and and Western Union, and a and a guy is eighty years old, and you don't question it you got it you have his license because he has to show his license before he you know during the transaction you have to show your license you see totals going to ghana senegal and you don't stop him until like this started maybe in 2010 ish and you don't stop them until 2017. Some, uh, he, he, it, it, it was a flag that came up, I guess, maybe as you went into the cloud and you got some analysis done on your data that this person has sent $1.5 million at minimum. That's just at MoneyGram and Western Unions. He was doing the he was doing wires before that, so let's just round it out at two million, and th that's that. I'll just be conservative with that number. Two million U.S. dollars goes to Senegal and Ghana, and nobody says anything it's until MoneyGram and Western Union cut him off from sending any money because they're pending a class action suit and they don't include him in the class action suit i don't i don't know i mean i don't know personally of any more egregious cases most people would not probably be talking about this because they'd be too embarrassed to say that their family lost two million dollars two to three million dollars in a Nigerian gold scam that wasn't even in Nigeria. It was it was in Ghana. The money was sent to Ghana and Senegal, probably because they're looking for those scams in Nigeria and not the other the other countries. So I think they call them countries. They don't call them states, which is weird to me. Anyway, that's a deal. So um, I'd be interested in finding out if anything like this has ever happened to anyone that you guys know. I know that I can't sleep comfortably um, leaving this alone. They tell me it might be a statute of limitations, this and the other, you know, um, all of that may be true. However, if a $2 million case popped out, popped up. I just feel like maybe exceptions should be made that, um, you know, you can't just, uh, you know, just wipe your hands clean of something that, like this that happened. And you left the prop, maybe one of the most egregious cases out of the class action. My mom was alive, so she got it. She would have been on it. She was alive then. And she was aware before her death that this was going on. This stressed her out because she knew we were going to lose the house. And, you know, she tried to placate her and just so she would not be so nervous because that was the, the last thing that she could imagine that the money she had worked to accumulate was all gone. So, um, you know, reach out to me if you want to know more. I'm going to get my hands on the other bags and also the wire transfers facilitated by Chase, J.P. Morgan Chase. And if his bankers on those wire transfers and he happens to be of African descent 
and he knows money's going to Africa and it's not supposed to go over there in that amount, then it makes sense that they quickly closed down all my father's accounts after this. It seemed like he was he went from like, hey, Mr. Joseph, you want some coffee? Sit down, kick your feet up. Ha, 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 blah, 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 to lock the doors. Mr. Joseph's coming. And all of his accounts were were closed quickly. And he was with Chase when before Chase was Chase, it was Dime Bank. He my father was banking with Dime Bank. Has been banking with Chase for a minimum of sixty years. Well, maybe Chase wasn't around sixty years sixty years ago, but let's say since Chase was around, and I'm I'm mixing these things up. I know I'm talking about Chase, and I'm talking about MoneyGram, and I'm talking about Western Union, because they're all part of this. We're gonna see how much Chase was a part of it. It could be worse than this, because these are few twos and fews. Okay, these are after after the wire transfers. I mean, you don't wire transfer a thousand dollars really. I think these these guys you know, also they they got to a point where they wanted him to wire money with the special passcode where you don't have to show credentials cuz they probably knew that this was coming to an end. And they didn't want to be traced, but I got some names, at least two notable names on here. So that's it. Let me know what you think. Bye.